This is what I learned from 100 bad dates. Every single person can be nervous. They may have spent a long time thinking about what outfit to wear, talking to friends about the date and about the person, and coming up with all kinds of scenarios. Will you get on? Will it be awkward? And as that date gets nearer and nearer, those nerves potentially increase. And it can be so overwhelming just to walk into a situation with expectation on your shoulders for how you want it to go, trying to come across as your best self, but inside you are trembling. Someone may have not gone on a date for a long time. So please forgive nerves a little bit. Let somebody have a chance to settle in. Remember that you may not get the most authentic version of somebody on the very first date. So if you see potential, it is definitely worth a second date. Texting and early dating is a nightmare. You should be playing a game of tennis with each other. If they text you, text them back. Do not be on your phone constantly just banging out texts. You don't want to be double texting. You want to take your time. Answer those texts in a natural way. Do not go out of your way to drop everything you're doing. Do it when you can. Write back what you feel is appropriate, but it is never appropriate to send reams of texts that have been unanswered and then start sending more messages. Don't do that. Just hold back. Let them show some interest in you and you match their interest. Match their interest. If they show more, give a little bit more. Remember, a game of tennis, back and forth. Do not give more than they are. Dating is like anything. It can become very exhausting. If you're going on a lot of dates and you're having a lot of interactions which are not going that positively, or you are getting a lot of rejection, that can be incredibly hard to take for anybody, and we have all been rejected. Something that is very, very important is just to look after yourself. To think, okay, I might need a little break. I might need to take a couple of weeks off these apps. To take a couple of months off going on dates. Just to regather my thoughts. Think again about what I'm actually looking for. That reflection time is worthwhile. You don't want to be going on dates and it to feel like a chore. If it feels like a chore, take a break. Be very careful what you put on these dating apps. At the end of the day, you're going to meet this person. If you do not look like the photo that you've put on, or you have extended, bended, or completely fabricated the truth, it is never a good way to start any connection. People will realize fairly quickly. At the end of the day, the person for you, that person isn't going to be put off by your true, authentic self they are going to find that person utterly captivating. So you have nothing to try and prove. Let the interaction happen as it is meant to happen with two people coming to the table with their best selves. Value choice is super important. Nobody wants to be stuck across the table from someone for three hours having a dinner date when they feel no connection or conversation is really hard to come by. Go somewhere that is low maintenance and low cost. Dating can become incredibly expensive. So just use those first few dates just to test the water, see how you feel about each other before you start investing huge amounts of time and huge amounts of money. Physical attraction is not everything. We all know this deep down. But on a first date, you may not feel instant physical chemistry. But even if you do, if you have nothing in common with this person, this date is not gonna go anywhere. What's really important is you look past surface level looks, but also surface level things in common. It might be great that you both like football, but I'm far more interested in someone's values, their goals, their aspirations for the future. Do those line up? 
Is this someone you think you could spend a thousand dinners with? You know, this is someone potentially that you could be sat with for the rest of your life. Something like a sharing a love of football or a love of going to the cinema, that's not enough. This person has to line up with your heart and soul. Do they have what you are looking for in a partner deep down? If they do, then potentially there is something worth growing. Look at the way they interact with others. The waiter, the waitress. If they're a guy, did they hold the door open for you? Were they respectful? Did they check that you got home safe? Did they thank you for the date? All of these things are super important and something I would expect from a person who had a vague a vague element of decency. So if you're not seeing these things or they're treating others with disrespect, walk away. They're not the person for you. You don't want to be gaslighted or treated really nicely for a couple of weeks and then find out a person is, um, quite frankly, a rat bag, someone you do not want to spend time with. Look for the little things. You are never doing someone a favour by giving them another date if you have absolutely no interest in them. The first few dates you have with people, really it's all about feeling safe in their company and also having fun. You don't want to overshare, you don't want to bear your very soul to a person you have just met. Keep it light keep the other stuff for further down the line. Nobody wants to turn up to their first interaction with someone and for the air to feel heavy, for it to feel very intense. Let the relationship blossom. 